Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will discuss some great DIY drones, each with some unique feature. Let's start with number 7. First, we have a fast, lightweight mini racing drone built by Max. Instead of using a 3D printer, he crafted the drone's arms from the mounting tracks of a cable raceway. He cut four segments, each about five centimeters long, and made gaps in the tracks to neatly hide the motor wires. For the arms, he repurposed an old pen and attached the coreless motors to it. For the base, he used popsicle sticks to hold the 2.4 gigahertz receiver and battery. After securing the holder and connecting the battery, he added the propellers and aligned them for optimal airflow. Once everything was set, it was time for a test flight. The drone flew smoothly, remained stable, and responded well in the air, just as Max had hoped. Number 6. Now let's talk about one of the best builds, an autonomous drone built by Jakob, which won first prize at Poland's largest drone competition. He used a strong carbon fiber frame for durability and Darwin FPV motors for stable, efficient propulsion. At the heart of the drone is a flight controller that maintains stability and allows precise control in both manual and autonomous modes. The Express LRS receiver ensures long-range communication with the controller, making it ideal for extended flights. With Mavlink telemetry, real-time flight data like altitude and speed is sent to the pilot for better control. The drone is also equipped with a GPS module, enabling autonomous navigation, including returning home and following preset paths. Powered by Artipilot software, it handles advanced flight controls and complex missions seamlessly. Number 5. Our next drone is built using LEGO blocks. Yes, you heard that right. Sokola created a micro drone with a 65mm frame size using materials that are easy to find. Starting with small, thin Lego bricks, he carefully selected pieces to construct the drone's frame. Once the frame was complete, he attached motors and propellers. For the electronics, he used a pre-owned flight controller with extended wires, allowing for a more flexible setup. After assembling everything, he connected the drone to a remote control, completed the necessary calibrations, and got it ready for a test flight. The drone successfully took off, proving it could fly just like any regular drone. Number 4. The Circuit Digest team set out to build a low-cost drone, managing to do it at just one-sixth the price of a typical DIY drone. The drone doesn't have a traditional frame. Instead, its PCB doubles as the structure. It uses an ESP32 as the flight controller, and for flight, it's equipped with four 720 coreless BLDC motors and 55mm propellers. The ESP32 connects to a mobile app, allowing the drone to be controlled via Wi-Fi. During initial testing, the drone struggled to take off, but after tweaking the thrust, pitch, and upgrading to a more powerful battery, it flew smoothly and powerfully, buzzing through the air like a bee. Before jumping to the next project, let's discuss an exciting opportunity for you if you are a student. If you're aiming to jumpstart your career in PCB design, then Altium is here to help you with their Altium Student Lab. Simply visit the Altium Student Lab through the link in the description, provide the necessary details, and you'll gain free access to Altium's cutting-edge design software and online courses. These PCB courses will guide you through the basics of PCB design and ECAD fundamentals, helping you build technical expertise. Plus, the course completion certificate can open up valuable career opportunities in the future. Overall, it's a great opportunity to not only master a key skill, but also to enhance your career prospects in electronics design. Number 3. Our next drone features a lightweight yet sturdy frame built using popsicle sticks. The frame is designed with four slots at the ends, each holding a brushless motor. These motors are connected to a flight controller, which sits in the center of the frame. On top of the flight controller, there's a receiver module which is secured in place using a small frame and screws, ensuring everything stays intact during flight. The drone is powered by a 650 milliamp hour battery, which is mounted below the frame for balance. This battery provides enough power to keep the drone flying for a decent amount of time. The drone can fly up to a range of 1,500 meters, though this distance may vary depending on factors like magnetic interference. 
which can disrupt the signal. Number two. Now, let's talk about a unique drone made by Naris. The top and bottom plates were 3D printed with ABS filament, while the arms were made from low carbon stainless steel alloy, giving the drone a strong and durable design. He first attached the base plate to the arms and connected a flight controller. Then, he installed FPV motors, along with a small receiver module, GPS, and a tiny camera. After assembling the hardware, he paired the transmitter with the receiver. Finally, he added 5-inch propellers and took the drone for a test flight, which flew smoothly and performed well. The frame of this project, that is, the plates and the arms were printed using JLC PCB's 3D printing services. They provided him with high-quality printed parts. You can also get high-quality prints easily. Just upload your CAD files, and you can get a custom 3D printed enclosure starting from $1, and most importantly, on time. Check the description for more details. Number 1. Mech Ninja created an impressive dual-mode quadcopter that not only flies like a drone, but also drives like a tank. He 3D printed the chassis using PLA, ensuring a strong yet lightweight frame. The chassis design was crucial, allowing for precise mounting of the components and durability during operation. The quadcopter is equipped with four brushless motors, each fitted with a propeller at the edges, controlled by an electronic speed controller. These motors provide the lift and maneuverability needed for flight, Additionally, four geared DC motors are mounted at the corners, controlled by an L298N motor driver. These motors, combined with a pulley system, drive the track belts that enable the bot to move on the ground like a tank. The overall design is simple yet effective, making this dual-mode quadcopter a good project to try. So, these were some of the great drone projects to try. Tell us in the comments the one you liked the most. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such amazing videos. See you soon. Goodbye.